Okay, so for this problem, we're given an iterated region, this time in R4 instead of R3. And they want us to calculate the integral of this function over the area. So integrating in R4 is just like integrating in R3. We have an iterated region, just going to take one at a time. And we're not given any specific bounds, but we are given these expressions for w, x, y, and z. And they're pretty much already set up for us for the order of integration. z has a function of y, y is a function of x, x has a function of w, and then w is just constants. So I'm going to go ahead and work through it that way. And let me rewrite my bounds. So. and go ahead and write my function in. Match everything up. So dz, dy, dx, dw. Okay, and let's go ahead and start. First we're integrating with respect to z. So 4wx is just a constant, so that's going to be 4wxz and 4yz becomes 2yz squared. So, we write everything. Looks like z, 2wxz. And then we're evaluating from z equals 0 to z equals y. Let me go ahead and write the rest of these in. Okay. So to evaluate from 0 to y, first I'm just going to plug y everywhere that I see an x, everywhere I see a z. So 2wxy. 2y to the third. And then for z equals 0, both of these terms are going to be 0. Right. Write everything in around it. And next up, I'm integrating with respect to y. So both of these are a function of y. 2wxy becomes wxy squared, and 2y to the third becomes 1 half y to the fourth. And now I want to evaluate from y equals 0 to y equals x. So first up, I plug an x in everywhere that I see a y. So wx to the third, a little lower, plus 1 half x to the fourth. Now for y equals 0, both of these terms become 0, so I don't even have anything to subtract. Add everything else in. dx. W. So now we're going to integrate with respect to x. So wx to the third becomes one fourth wx to the fourth, and one half x to the fourth becomes one tenth x to the fifth. And we're going to evaluate from x equals 0 to x equals w. Let me move over here. So plug in a w everywhere that I see an x. So 1 fourth, that becomes w to the fifth. And that becomes 1 tenth w to the fifth. Now, for x equals 0, both of those terms become 0. So, again, I have nothing to subtract. 
So W and all right. This is our last integration, and we're doing it with respect to W this time. So one sixth W to the sixth and one twenty fourth. My bad. Four times six, of course. Plus one over sixty W to six. Then I want to evaluate that from W equals zero to W equals one. Okay. So first off, plug a one everywhere I see a W. So one twenty fourth plus one sixtieth. And then for plugging in zero for W, everything just becomes a zero. So add these, I'm gonna get seven over one twenty. And that's my final answer.